Hello gorgeous! Have you ever tried at least 10 pairs of sunglasses in the store and then finally walked away because none of them really suit you? I know, you're not the only one. Finding perfect pair of sunglasses is almost as tricky as finding that perfect pair of jeans that fit. There's so many nuances to consider. But don't you worry, after this video you'll become a real expert. You will know how to find sunglasses that sit perfectly on your face, flatter your shape and features and fit in your style. Just give me 10 minutes. Color is probably the first thing you pay attention to when picking the sunglasses. And there is such a huge choice. Black, tortoise shell, something more colorful and bold. Which one to choose? I would say my top three must-haves when it comes to sunglasses would be black, tortoise shell in cool shade, and navy or gray-green with metallic frames, because these three pretty much cover all the possible styles of outfits you can put together. The most important thing is that you pick the shade that complements your natural coloring and your skin tone. If you have cool skin and hair tone, sunglasses and cool color palette will complement your natural coloring. I'm talking about both the color of the frame and the color of the lenses. You can go for classy black ones if you want to have more statement look, or opt for tortoise shell in cool brown or beige hues, or go for more colorful options in navy blue, white, pink, lilac, fuchsia, emerald green or grey. If you have warm color type, sunglasses in warm hues flatter you the most. Toto shell is definitely the most versatile and timeless option. Warm neutral frames look very fresh and stylish, yet can be easily combined with any outfit. Or try more bold options in bottega green, orange, rosewood, yellow. They will definitely complement your skin tone and your features. If you have neutral color type, you can go for tortoise shell as the safest option or experiment with colorful frames in burgundy, khaki, lime green, teal or neutral beige. And talking about most flattering colors, I know that a lot of you actually struggle to understand what is your color type. Is it cool, warm, probably neutral? Which colors to wear in order to look your best? So I have developed a very easy, straightforward test that will help you analyze your color type and suggest your color winning palette. It's absolutely for free. The only thing you need to do is to go to the link under this video, answer five simple questions and get the color palette directly to your mailbox. It's a very handy tool to go shopping because it will help you understand straight away which items to pick to try and which ones are better left behind on the rack or to declutter your existing wardrobe. So I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So don't forget to go to the link after watching this video, get your color palette and use it to pick your perfect sunglasses, accessories and to put your perfect wardrobe together. Another very important detail before you even took any sunglasses to try on is to look at the size of the frame, how heavy or light it is. If you want to look pretty in your sunglasses, which is not always the case, it is important to pick the frame proportional to your own scales. Some people have bigger faces and larger features, nose, eyes, lips, chin. Others have more fine features and smaller faces. It is very much linked to our bone structure and our overall scales. So analyze your face and your features and pick the frame proportional to your own scales. Here you see the example when the frame is too big for the face and the features and therefore clearly dominates the whole look. It may look like a fashion statement, but you can hardly call it flattering for the model. Another extreme is when the frame is too small for the face and makes the features appear larger and heavier. Obviously, my example is a bit exaggerated, but I just wanted to give you a clear idea of the contrast between the frame and the face. Again, it may be on trend, but not really in style. Face width is probably the key factor when it comes to choosing a perfect pair of sunglasses and it is basically the distance across your face from one temple to another. It is really important that the width of the frame of the sunglasses is proportional to your face width. It should not be too wide or too narrow. And here's where our first number indicated on the side arm can really help you. So as you see here, the first number on the temple shows you how wide the frame is. What you should look at is not even the top, but the bottom of the frame. 
low edge of the frame should not be wider than the face, as on this model for example. These aviators are oversized and you can clearly see that not only top but also low edge of the frame come further than my cheekbones. These sunglasses are quite wide, which is typical for a cat eye model. The width measures 54, it's mentioned on the inside of the temple. However, the low edge of the frame is not wider than my cheekbones. The frame should also not be narrower than your face, as this example here. Even though these cat eye sunnies are wider at the top, at the bottom they are narrower than my cheekbones. Just compare previous model to these frames. They are also wider at the top, but in proportion with my face at the bottom. This model is much smaller, but not more narrow than my cheekbones, so they look much more harmonious on my face. Another thing to pay attention to when picking sunglasses is the length of your face, which is basically the distance from the top of your forehead to the bottom of your chin. We have oblong faces, we have shorter faces. Well, normally you know it just visually by looking at your face in the mirror. But to give you a rough reference, I would say ideally the length of the face should be not bigger than one and a half times of the width of the face. The low edge of the frame shouldn't be lower than the highest point of the nostril contour. If the frame is too long for your face, your face will look too short and rather disproportional. If you have oblong or very narrow face, it is crucial to go for sunglasses where a low edge comes at least down the middle of your nose or slightly lower. And another very tiny but quite important nuance if you want to look pretty in sunglasses. The upper edge of the frame should not cover completely your eyebrows. Ideally, you should see at least a little part of the eyebrow line under the sunglasses. Face shape is another important aspect when picking the sunglasses. And here I'd like to emphasize two nuances. The proportions of your face, how balanced are the top and the bottom of your face. We have faces which are slightly wider at the top, such as hard face shape. We have those which are wider at the bottom, wedge for example. And we have those which are wider at the cheekbones in the middle, such as diamond face shape or round one. We also have face shapes which are pretty much balanced, such as oval or rectangular or, for example, square one. Frames is another way to balance up your proportions if you pick the right one. If your face shape is wider on top, such as triangular or heart shape, deep frame, wafer, oval or square frame with softened edges will suit you best. If you want to accentuate your cheekbones, cat eye model will look really stylish on you. If your face shape is wider at the bottom, such as wedge, opt for rectangular, D-frame, wafer or cat eye model to balance up your face. If your face shape is wider in the middle, at the cheekbones, such as diamond shape, try round or oval frames. Or go for more sporty models, such as aviator, wafer, rectangular with softened edges. And if you want to accentuate your cheekbones and create more statement look, opt for a cat eye model. If your face shape is equally wide on top and at the bottom, such as round or square one, try frames that elongate and slimmer your face. Narrow D-frame, wafer, cat eye will flatter you the most. And finally, for oblong face shapes, oblong oval and rectangular, I would recommend to go for wider and larger frames. It can be a D-frame or aviator, oversized wafer, large round or square frames with softened edges or papillon model if you prefer a more feminine look. Also pay attention to the face line and your features. As I mentioned before, it's very much linked to the bone structure and the skeleton. So we have three different types of faces. We have rounded faces with rounded features, we have angular faces with angular features, and we have mixed faces where you can see combination of both. If you have angular face shape with straight hairline and defined jawline and chin, avoid geometric frames with sharp edges as they accentuate the angles of your face even more. Go for frames with softened edges instead. Likewise, if you have round face shape, don't go for rounded sunglasses, but opt for more angular frames, yet with soft edges. 
And here comes our second secret number, which is indicated on the inside of the temple. It's actually the first number from the lens. Here it says 140. And this is basically the length of the side arms. So it is really important that the length of the side arms equals the distance between your temple and your ear, because if the side arms are too long, the sunglasses will never sit properly on your face and they will tend to fall. You can also balance up your face by picking the frame with different arm positioning at the top of the lens, in the middle or at the bottom of the lens. Round and square faces look better when side arms are set at the top edge of the frame, which gives them the illusion of extra length. Wedge and diamond shaped faces look best when the frame is heavy at the top and the side arms are at the top. Triangle and heart shaped faces look best when the side arms are set at the bottom edge of the frame. And finally, oval, oblong and rectangular faces look best in frames when the side arms are set in the center of the frame. And the last secret number we have here, indicated on the inside of the temple, right in the middle, is the width of the bridge. It is actually a very important size because if the bridge is too wide, then the sunglasses will rest on your face, they will be too close to your skin, it may cause irritation. If the bridge is too narrow, the sunglasses will sit too high on your nose and there will be too much clearance between the frame and the skin, which doesn't really sit or feel comfortable and they also have a tendency to fall. I know it's a lot of information and it may sound a bit overwhelming at the moment, you still probably haven't decided which model to pick. So let's talk about the most versatile sunglasses, how to fit them in your style and how to match them with your clothes. Black sunglasses are the most versatile and stylish model you can invest in, especially if you have minimalist style. They go pretty much with everything and work for all seasons. And you have a big variety of different shapes and models, from D-shape and rectangular to cat-eye and wafer. If you prefer lighter sunglasses, I would suggest to go for models with metallic frames or frameless. It's another must-have model which works both for summer and winter, since it has very light color and most of the time transparent lenses. It also flatters the face and creates very effortless fresh look. Depending on the color of the lenses, it may look more sporty and casual, like mine, for example, in navy blue. Or if you go for more colorful lenses, it will create more boho mood and will work perfect for boho chic outfits. Aviators are always on trend, especially if you prefer more natural casual style. The good thing about aviators is that they work both for more casual and sporty looks, but also look nice with more feminine outfits, like a shirt or printed dress, for example. Cat Eye is definitely my favorite model, because it has this slightly retro feel, but at the same time looks very modern and stylish. Again, you can add it to more relaxed outfits to dress it up a bit, or wear it with some chic dress to complete the look and make it more edgy. Wayfair is another timeless model which is never out of style, definitely a great option if you prefer more sporty, relaxed and casual looks. It is also one of my favorite models for optical glasses because it looks very stylish and it doesn't make you look too serious and mature despite the opticals. Tutter shell is definitely the best option if you prefer a more natural or boho chic style. It looks beautiful with neutral color palette and more earthy colors and also works great with prints. I would say this option is more for summer than for fall winter season, but since it is never out of style, you can be sure that it will pay you off for a very long time. Statement contrast frames are also a great way to elevate your look, but of course they are more tricky to combine them with clothes. So unless you gravitate towards more edgy and extravagant style, I would recommend you to go for more classic and casual options, such as mentioned above. And the last not least is the sporty sunglasses, which is a big trend this season. Obviously it is more statement frame, but if you do a lot of outdoor activities and live most of your days in leggings and sportswear, it may be a very interesting option for you. And in the winter time you can easily accessorize your ski outfit with it, basically what I do every year. And voila, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you found your perfect pair of sunglasses. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!